Hi, this is Dr. Karen Gannett. I'm going to show you how you can use the LifeWave Ice Wave patches to help treat back pain in this video. We're going to have James as our demo, and I'll show you how to move the patches around in the Hulti Wanger Cross to get the best results. Here we have James demonstrating and pretending that he has low back pain. So I'm going to have James pretend to show me in his low back where he actually has the pain. So can you show me where you have the pain? Okay, great. So we mark that spot as the pain spot. So on the protocol, you want to put the tan patch over top of the area of the pain. Now before we actually do this, I should have told you that um, you need to ask the person to rate the pain. I um, have them rate it 10 out of 10 for now. Uh, even though a lot of people say, oh, it's not that bad, it's only a 3, um, have them rate it 10 out of 10 because we want to see whether or not they'll decrease from 10 um, as uh, we use the protocol. So we'll, uh, we'll just say whatever the pain is now, we'll pretend it's a 10 out of 10, and then uh, we'll have James move around a little bit, bend his back, that sort of thing, and uh, you get the person to get a good idea of what causes the pain to come on. So we'll get that person to do that movement every time so we get a good uh, sense of whether the pain has diminished. So once the person has moved around, and that's a 10 out of 10, his current pain, then you put the tan patch over the spot of pain, and then the white patch on the original protocol will go in the center of the chest. So I'll have James turn around here, and he actually has energy enhancers on today, but uh, we'll pretend he doesn't. Um, we're going to put the ice wave white patch in the center of the chest. Okay, and then we'll have the person um, do whatever movement it is that causes the pain and see if the pain has diminished from 10. So just give me a number, James, and pretend. How's your pain? Seven. Seven, okay. So we're going to move away from the original protocol. I'll have you turn around again. So now, uh, we'll pretend this pain is now 7 out of 10, so it's a little bit better. Uh, we're going to actually use the Healthy Wanger Cross protocol to see if we can get any better than 7 out of 10. So with the pain spot as the center of a clock, we're going to go up to 12 o'clock first with the white patch. So that can go anywhere from up here to here as long as it's in alignment with 12 o'clock. So a very common spot to put it in is up there. So then you have the person move around a little bit, and after about 10 seconds or so, have them tell you whether their pain has diminished past um, the level that they were at previously. All right. Okay, so now we will actually, so you'll have them rate the, the pain again out of 10. Now the next part of the protocol is from 12 o'clock, you're going to go to 3 o'clock. So we're going to put it over here as our 3 o'clock position and then have them move again 10 seconds tell them uh, out of 10 how that is better or worse and then we're going to go to a six o'clock location so here you'd actually probably have to tuck it in there behind the underwear I have masking tape on the on the back of these so they're getting a little unsticky but um, so your six o'clock location would be there and then have them move around again 10 seconds tell you out of 10 better or worse that sort of thing um, if that does not work or does not work well enough, you can continue to the 9 o'clock spot, which would be over here, and do the same thing. They'll, after 10 seconds, uh, have them move around and see if the pain is better or worse. And then um, beyond that, you can actually sandwich, um, in this case, the spine, with the white patch in the front of the belly, just straight across. Actually, just have you a step to the side here. Yeah, so straight across. So it's approximately there. Um, and that amazingly works well for many people that have true disc or uh, spinal pain. Um, and say none of these work, what you can do is do the whole protocol again, but now with the white patch in the center of the pain area. And then moving the tan patch from 12 o'clock, you know, 3, 6, 9, and across in the front of the belly uh, because some people actually require the positive uh, patch 
uh, instead of the negative or the feminine patch to be over the area of the paint. It, everybody's different. So that's the Halti Wanger Cross Protocol for back pain. Now you can also use um, uh, one patch on either side of the pain area as well. And for some people that works well. In this case, you would use the white patch on the right, white on right, and tan on left. And uh, that works for some people.